Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to cover a couple of methods for finding the least common multiple, or LCM. Well, let's start with answering the question, what is a least common multiple? Well, the least common multiple of two whole numbers, A and B, both of which are not zero, is the smallest whole number that is a multiple of both A and B. We often denote this using the capital letters L, C, M of A and B. There are several methods for finding the LCM of two numbers, the first few of which we'll cover in this video. So one method is the number line method. This one is nice and visual. So let's say we wanted to find the least common multiple of four and six. We could start off by taking the larger of the two values and placing it on the number line. If we then look at multiple copies of the smaller, in this case four, we can see that two copies of four extends past our copy of six. So if we add another copy of six and then add more copies of four, we continue this pattern until our numbers line up. In this case, our numbers line up at 12, which means that the smallest common multiple of four and six is 12. Now the number line method is a great starter for small values, but it may be rather tedious and require a lot of space if we're working with larger numbers. Another method is called the set intersection method. So if we let A be the set of multiples of four and B be the set of multiples of six, then A would at least start out as four, eight, 12, 16, and so on and so forth, right? It's technically an infinite set, but we can just list the first several. And B, which is our multiples of six, would be six, 12, 18, 24, and so on. We can define C as the set of all the common multiples. Then C would be A intersect B, which would be at least to start 12, then 24, and so on. The smallest number in that intersection set C is our least common multiple. In this case, our least common multiple, again, for four and six, is 12. Just like with the number line method, this could get rather tedious if your numbers are large. So we may want to look at alternate methods. Our final method that we're going to talk about in this video is the prime factorization method. So we can take the product of the highest power for each prime number in the prime factorization of two or more numbers, and that will be those numbers least common multiple. So for example, let's use the prime factorization method to find the least common multiple of six and 20. Well, six has a prime factorization of two times three, and 20 has a prime factorization of two squared times five. So what we can see is if we take the highest power of each prime, that would mean two squared, since the highest power of two is here, times three times five. So we need to use all primes, and if they share any, the highest power of that prime. That gives us our least common multiple of six and 20 is 60. All right, guys, well, that does it for this video on methods for finding the least common multiple. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.